Orange County, California. I'm going to show you how to get into the VRBO short-term rental game with a very modest investment. I'm talking about 200K or less. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I'm James Wise. This is Holden Wise TV, and the specific show you're watching is the MLS Search and Analysis Show. This is a show where I work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I help you guys invest in real estate, and I help you guys do it passively. My team handles everything, right? So if you want to work with us, hit us up, sales at holtonwise.com. Give us your number. We'll give you personalized videos like this. Videos like this for investors like my man, Vapool. Vapool, you're in Orange County, California. You've been an investor with Holton Wise for quite some time now, right? You have a lot of low-income rentals with us, right? Like three or four. Right? I guess I shouldn't say a lot. Three or four. Modest little portfolio, right? You pick those things up for cheap, dude, like 30 grand. Now, we're going to move up in cost, but the cost is still dramatically low compared to what you're used to in Orange County, California. I'm going to show you how to do a short-term rental, right? We're going to be hitting luxury properties, right? A-grade neighborhoods, right? See, we're in the Cleveland market. Things in the Cleveland market are much cheaper uh, than markets like California, right? Check the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods for more info on what I mean when I say A neighborhood versus DFC, right? So for you, this 200K investment, it's much higher, right, than your previous investments, but still dramatically lower than what you're paying in Orange County, California. Now, here's the thing, the bull. This system is going to be definitely different than what we've been doing with your low-income rentals, right? We're not going to be doing any type of short-term rentals on properties that are in the Section 8 neighborhoods, right? So I know you've been with us for a while, working with us for a while, but this is a new program. This is a new business line for Holton Wise, and we're definitely going to do things a little bit differently uh, with the short-term rental program, right? Like this is a $200,000 investment, but this is pretty much the basement for short-term rentals. I don't want to go any lower than this price point. So before I even get into the numbers on the property, I have uh, some footage. I've previously released this. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but I think it's incredibly important as this is the first time me and you are going to be working together to do a short-term rental that you take a look at where I'm at with the program currently as we speak because I don't have all the answers just yet. This is a new line for us, right? So I want to be on the same page with you that this is kind of a beta program. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Now, before I can analyze the numbers on the short-term rental that I think is going to work for you. Before I can get into all the meat and all the details on this Airbnb type property, I got to be upfront with you and explain to you exactly where I am with the Airbnb VRBO short-term rental model, right? Because investors have been asking Holton Wise, have been asking me for a long time. I'm talking years, couple years now. Uh, if we do Airbnb, if we assist uh, investors, if we handle property management, and up till now, the answer's been no, okay? So you need to understand, this is a beta program. You are one of our very first customers who we are going into this business with, right? So is it going to work? I don't know. I have never done Airbnb before, but... I'm not just some random dude off the street, okay? Obviously, you're here because of our vast experience in the investment space, right? For anybody who is not aware, we are the number one. There's nobody even close to our presence in the Cleveland market of investing in turnkey and out-of-state type rentals, right? I have sold over $200 million worth of investment real estate in the Cleveland market 
We run the largest scattered site rental property portfolio in the market, right? I, myself personally, with my partner John Holton, the founder of Holton Wise, own about 20% of that portfolio. The rest we manage for people like you from all over the world. Flips, we do that. Full service property management, construction, insurance, title, the whole night. We are the absolute industry leader in the Cleveland market. So I'm not just some schmuck. But you need to know, this is the first foray into the Airbnb short-term rental space, right? So to really explain where I'm at with that, I got I to gotta bend your ear for a second and just take you down memory lane a little bit, okay? Now, myself and the other owner, John Holton, local boys, okay? We're from the Cleveland market, right? I grew up in a neighborhood called Old Brooklyn and then later Parma, right? Split my time as a kid in those two areas. John Holton grew up in Parma. Both John Holton and myself went to college in Parma, okay? That's a suburb of Cleveland. Now, we were not born rich, okay? No, no, no. Again, Parma, Old Brooklyn, CB neighborhoods, okay? So we started out boots, Bootstrapped our way to the top, okay? So when this business started, both John Holton and myself owned homes in Parma that we lived in. Both of those homes right now, they're valued, uh, you know, in the hundred to $175,000 range, those two homes. Neither of us live in those homes, okay? Both of us, through the building of Holton Wise over the last decade, uh, we're able to up our game, move into A-grade neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, right? For those of you uh, that are familiar with it and then for those of you that aren't, show notes below. I got a link to the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I grade all the neighborhoods on an A to F scale, right? F being the most risky and cheapest. A being the least risky and most expensive, right? Makes sense, okay? So check that out. It's a great resource for everybody, right? So we started off. CB neighborhoods, right? As the business grew, our wealth grew, we moved into really nice houses in A-grade neighborhoods. But there were not mansions, okay? They were not mansions. Both my house and John Holton's house are valued uh, in between, I would say, the three hundred and the $400,000 price point. And that's very important because as we speak to you right now, both John Holden and myself, uh, we're looking to upgrade again, and we're going to be utilizing those two homes, our personal holdings, as Airbnb test cases, okay? In addition to doing that, in addition to putting our own money into this program, we're offering you guys the opportunity to work with us, right? So right now, me personally, what I'm doing, I bought myself a big old 30-acre farm in the outskirts of the Cleveland area, right? And I'm building my fancy house over there, right? My forever home with the wife and the kids, okay? So once I'm completed with that rather large, lengthy project, my A-grade home in the three to 400K range will be in the Holton Wise Airbnb program. John has a similar uh, trajectory and path, right? He wants to be on the lake. The guy loves the water, okay? So he's building his big old mansion in the water. Then his home will be put into this program. So we absolutely believe in this program. But as I speak to you right now, I do not have a track record of being in the short-term rental game. Now, we are offering you guys the opportunity to be in those same neighborhoods doing the same thing, right? I know a lot of you out there are thinking like, oh, man, Let's take these Section 8 houses and let's put them in the Airbnb program. It's going to be amazing. We're going to increase our ROI. No. No, no, no. No. We're not doing that, okay? That is not going to happen. That is not what you're going to see from Holton Wise. I do not personally believe in that business model. I have abstained from getting into the Airbnb short-term rental model for, you know, like a couple years now. You guys have been asking for it, asking for it. And I've specifically chosen not to uh, work with investors in that way because I do not believe that running low-income rentals where you're regularly putting in Section 8 tenants into these properties, I do not believe that to be a sustainable and profitable business model. If that's what you guys are looking for, unfortunately, you're not going to get it here. 
I own a ton of low-income rentals, as I've already explained, right? 20% of this big old portfolio, personally owned by myself and John Holton. Not one of my Section 8 low-income rentals is ever going to be put in the Airbnb program. If I will not put my own money into the business model because I don't believe in it, I fucking sure as hell ain't going to put your fucking money into it. It's not how I do business. I'm sorry. I don't think it's going to make sense. I don't think it's going to work, right? The level of risk involved in those type of rentals on a short-term rental basis is insurmountable, right? If you watch the Tennis from Hell show, you see some wild stuff, right? Furnishing those types of properties, the amount of time the, the houses are empty, the fact that when you do a short-term rental, you're going to need to do uh, relatively like remote showings. It's not always going to be like a on-person showing like with a regular long-term rental. I just do not think the business has legs, guys. I think it's just going to be a loser. It is far too risky. The payoff is far too low. I don't believe it'll work, right? So, the only thing that I think makes sense is A-grade neighborhoods. Hence, both my personal home and John Holton's personal home are going to be the first Holton Wise owned properties in this program, right? So, if you want to simultaneously go down that path with us, targeting A-grade properties, we would be more than happy to work with you, right? Now, I have not proven this model yet, right? I'm proving it out with you. That's why we did the beta program, offered the discounts, offered to give you a video just like this for dirt cheap. Now, a couple things, right? I'm going to run over the numbers on a property that I think is going to be perfect on this, but some, some assumptions I am making when I do this, right? One of those assumptions, and this is the big, the big assumption, right? The vacancy rate, okay? We're going to be renting these things by the day or night, however you want to say it, okay? So, I've done some extensive research, right? In gathering data, data that I've gotten directly from Airbnb. The neighborhoods we're targeting, the, 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 the entire county that we're, we're, we're going to lock in on, folks, has historically ran an Airbnb occupancy rate of 62%, okay? That means we're going to be running a 38% vacancy rate. So when I break down these properties for you, that's the vacancy rate I'm going to be giving you, 38%. I just want to be upfront that you know I haven't proven that out. That is average. That is what they're seeing, average. I like to think, being that Holton Wise is the absolute number one in our space, we will probably exceed what your average operator is doing, but I like to aim low and overachieve. I don't want to give you something like we'll hit an 80% occupancy rate, right? Like I don't have any data to back that up. So we're going to go based upon the average occupancy rate, and we're going to need to deck these houses out, right? Take a look at these photos, okay? Now this is my actual home, right? Well, before and after that master bath, right? The master bath before, it was usable, but it was dated. And then you see I banged out that big old shower, right? That's a luxury shower, right? You ain't ever seen a shower like that on this show before, right? And then take a look at the pictures of the kitchen, right? I got three stainless steel fridges in my kitchen, right? I got a full-size fridge, and then I got two bar fridges, right? These are the kind of things we're going to be aiming for, folks. We're going to be looking to wow these people, right? We are not going to get into the cheapest by-the-night room possible Section 8 low-income sleazebag short-term rental motel game. No, I already own a sex motel, and I got, I got what's going on with that in the show notes below, right? So that's, that's, that's not how we're going to compete in this space. We are not going to be competing on price, folks. We're going to be targeting high-end properties. We're going to be going for a high nightly rent, and we are going to get these customers by wowing them. We're not just going to give them a normal, boring, run-of-the-mill home. No, we are going to bang out a wow factor, right? When our customer base, right, maybe it's a family, lives a few states away, they're going into Cleveland for a family reunion, right? You know, maybe it's like 
I don't know, three families, right? Like two sets, three sets of parents with all their kids, right? And they need somewhere to stay for the week, right? So you got three separate adult households splitting this money for the course of a week. We want to give them something great so they could see it like, oh, look at this house. This is going to be a great house to have family dinners and just gather, have a really great week stay while we're up in the Cleveland market, right? That's what we're going for, a premium product, at a premium price in premium neighborhoods, right? That model, it ain't going to work if down the street from the house you got Section 8, Section 8, Section 8, crack house, whorehouse, Joe Crackhead walking down the fucking street, people breaking into the house every couple months, stealing the luxury appliances, the flat screen TVs we're putting in there. That model is too risky, right? We're going to be in neighborhoods where the crime level is like fucking zero, okay? High-end, premium stuff. If that is something you can get behind, sit down, buckle up, because now I'm going to break out the actual numbers, the actual performance metrics right after this. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and start investing today. Welcome back. Let's do what we came to do, folks. Break down the numbers of the actual deal, all right? This is a cool, like, unique-looking house, right? Like, you don't see this often, and that's what I think is important, right? Because we're not providing people a house to live in, right? We're providing people with an experience. We need something to stand out, right? And this house definitely stands out, okay? And this is a pretty darn nice house, right? We don't have to do too much in here, right? I pretty much like what they got going on, right? So as far as everything is concerned... All I've put together is a $15,000 budget, right? And that is to freshen things up, clean things up, right? Like, we got stuff hanging on the walls. These people got furniture. Like, all right, this room right here, right? Like, this looks good right now. But, you know, when you move out the table and you move out the couch, is the carpet under the couch going to be <laughs> a couple shades lighter than everywhere else? I mean, that's how things kind of work, right? You got pictures on the walls. You know, we're going to have to, you know, probably refresh some stuff up, repaint. So it makes sense to have a $15,000 budget to go in, not do necessarily any renovations, but clean things up, paint things up, you know, provide that nice, clean, crisp look, right? And this is pretty badass here, right? You got a two-story bedroom, right? This is great because pretty much any space we have, folks, we're going to be trying to put beds in here, right? We want to maximize the amount of money we're going to earn on the short-term rental program by sleeping as many guests as possible, right? That's where the money is. The more guests you can sleep at one time, the more money you're going to make, right? So you want to stand out. You want to sleep a lot of people. You want to provide a very nice atmosphere right we're targeting people that have a larger amount of disposable income that's why we're not in the section eight neighborhoods right we're only dealing with a grade neighborhoods right we're trying to give them something unique right this is very unique this is just a cool experience right this will catch your eye when it's on vrbo airbnb or whatever right this is super nice stuff right six zero one seven decker road north Olmsted. that is the address Okay, it's been on the market for 10 days, priced at $160,000, but it's already been off the market. The buyer's financing, I believe, something like that happened. It, it fell through, right? So it's back on the market. So we're going to need to move quick, right? We move quick, come in aggressive, right? Because this thing's going to move, right? Because this is an A-grade neighborhood, which, by the way, if you don't know what I mean when I say A-grade neighborhood, in the show notes below or on the tools and resources tab on holtonwise.com. I created a, a document. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. I graded all the neighborhoods on an A to F scale, right? F, high risk, low cost. A, low risk, high cost, okay? Check out that guide, right? I'm not saying you should only invest in A. I'm not saying you should only invest in F. I'm saying certain neighborhoods make sense for certain strategies, right? I made the majority of my money, the majority of the $200 million worth of real estate that I've sold is typically in the C or D neighborhoods, right? That's where I, I really got my start in the business. That's where I made my name. That's where Holton Wise became the number one out-of-state investor's choice in the Cleveland market, okay? That 
is my bread and butter for Section 8 long-term buy and holds. But this is different. This is a different business model. This is short-term rentals. I believe short-term rentals make sense in neighborhoods like this. This would be about the cheapest short-term rental investment I'd like to see, right? I'd like to see stuff, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600,000 dollar houses, right? Totally different than our long-term system where we're in there like $40,000 houses, $30,000 houses, right? Things of that nature. So this is what I would like to see here. We pick it up for 160, right? 15K in renovations, but they're not really renovations, right? It's just, you know, you got stuff in there right now. It's all going to get moved out. We got to, you know, freshen it up. We might be changing some carpet in this room or that room, repainting this, repainting that, maybe giving people some type of memorable wow factor, right? I don't see why we would need to spend any more than 15 k getting this thing looking premium, right? Premium product in a premium neighborhood for a premium price, right? So we can get a premium return. Then we're going to spend 25 or so furnishing this, right? I want to shove as many beds into this property as I possibly can, right? I want to see bunk beds in some of the bedrooms, right? If we got other rooms, we're going to put beds in there. Our goal is to try to sleep as many people as we can, right? The more people we sleep, the more people we could sleep in this property, the more we're going to get per night, right? And that's what leads me to the per night rate. I believe we'll get about two and a quarter a night, okay? So if you rented it every single day of the month, dude, we'd be looking at 6975 a month or 83 k a year, right? But this is reality. We don't get to rent the short-term rental every day. It's not how it works, right? In this area, in this market, right? We are looking at a historical 62% occupancy. So we have to account for that 38% vacancy, okay? So after you account for that, plus your various fees, fixed and variable expenses to get this thing to run, Holton Wise's $1,000 a month management fee, the whole shebang should pull you off a clear NOI of 1445, right? That's 17,343, right? That's what this show's all about. That's what I'm all about, right? Showing you guys properties like this, but showing you guys the real experience, right? Somebody might be like, yo, you can make 83K, but you really can't, right? Like, yeah, if you take the daily rent times every friggin' day, 83K, but that's not how real estate works. That's not how this business works. What's more realistic is pulling home 17 of that 83 as actual profit, right? So your all-in investment would be 200. You got 40 grand for your down payment for the loan, okay? Then we're going to get you a $120,000 loan from a lender. Then we're putting in another 40 up front, and that's going to be to furnish it and to fix things up, make it pop, make it wow, right? Move out a couch. If we see two different shades on the carpet, we're swapping out that carpet, right? I'm giving you a nice wide open budget so you can really get in there and know that there's going to be some money up front to put this thing in the position to be a beautiful vacation destination experience, right? So all in 200, your total up front, 80. Bank gives you 120. That's going to project out to be a 14.1% cash on cash return an 8.7 cap, and it's purely passive. Holton Wise is going to do everything. You don't need to do anything. This will be a full turnkey experience. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.